our process is now successfully deployed and we ran our first execution. So we should have at least one record displayed in the execution history in the Manage Process Reporting tab. Let's examine its key features. This view defaults to executions launched in the past hour across all atoms. Filters can set and a new search completed to review the results. Execution records are highlighted to display document activity. This is a table-like view of everything, including inbound and outbound files. You can manually execute deployed processes and a particular atom. The execution view captures some key processing statistics. You can click on filter links to sort by execution status. You can page through sets of 25 execution records. You can view high level process logs to see the state of each step kicked off for the document in a workflow. And finally, you can click the last column to view the details of the first error message returned, if any. The first error message refers to connectivity errors in the start shape or the first error that happens against your inbound document set. The execution actions are exposed in the gear button dropdown per each execution thread and are important for advanced control and debugging. You can View the process, which will open the process on the Build tab. View the deployment components, which will view and open the component versions on the Build tab. You can view the process state, which will view real-time information about the step execution and duration. You can view the extended information. For this, you need administration privileges to view the execution, process, atom, and deployment IDs and the ability to download execution artifacts. Finally, you can cancel a process execution, which would end processes in a pending state. I'm now going to demonstrate exercise 19 to track live executions and process reporting. We are in the process reporting screen. You're going to click on Manage and Process Reporting to get here. Currently, the auto refresh is off. If I turn the auto refresh on, it will be turned on and the table will be refreshed every minute. Let's take a look at the gear menu. Here we can view the process, view the deployment components, process, view the process state, and view the extended information. We're going to take a look at viewing the deployment components. This gives you all of the information about which components make up this particular process. You'll see the name, the type, the revision, who modified it, and the date it was modified. If we take a look in your book, it shows you to take a look at the account CSV. If I click on this little piece of paper, it will take me into the Build tab, and it will show me the profile of the account CSV in the Build tab. In closing this, I can click the little piece of paper, which will give me the log information. This will give me the time it was ran, the level. The level is either debug, info, warning, or severe, what shape it was, any external information, and any messages that might go along, such as executing the shape, how many documents were processed, etc. This concludes our video, but please complete exercise 19, track live executions and process reporting before moving on to our next video on help and support.